All right, North Korea claiming its hydrogen bomb is five times more powerful than the one dropped on Nagasaki that helped end World War II. Joining us now to break down the differences and their threats is Director of Defense Studies at the Center for National Interest, Harry, uh, can you pronounce it for me, sir? Kazinas? Yes, the honest. Good I want to get it right. You know, I want to do well by you. You're, you're an expert. You deserve that respect. Harry, if you would, uh, give us a sense. Do you think this was a hydrogen bomb? And if so, what does it tell us? Well, you know, Pete, it's tough to tell if this is a hydrogen bomb or not. My own sources at the Pentagon, which I actually wrote a piece for Fox Opinion just a couple weeks ago on this, they were thinking actually the North Koreans were anywhere from 6 to 18 months away when it came to a hydrogen bomb. So what we might be actually seeing late last night is that the North Koreans could be testing sort of the conceptual design of a hydrogen bomb. And keep in mind, for a hydrogen bomb, we're usually talking in the millions of tons of TNT. The test that was last night was 100 kilotons, or roughly 100,000 tons of TNT. So that would be a very small hydrogen bomb. But I, I think the intent is very clear. The North Koreans are rapidly building up their nuclear weapons capabilities. We mm -hmm. have to be concerned, and I think the president is going to take some bold actions. The, the, the graphic on our screen right now shows how much larger this test was last night, 120 kilotons, than even just the previous one a year ago, 10 kilotons. So right. no matter what, they've, they've advanced their technology substantially. Do you believe they have the ability yet to couple it with an ICBM, a missile that could reach us. Well, that's the trick here. Usually a hydrogen bomb to take that design and basically scale it down and make it small enough to put it on the nose cone of a warhead and then be able to deliver that on a target thousands of miles away. That's a hard thing to do. So where I would argue here, Pete, is the North Koreans are probably at the very start of this design process for a hydrogen bomb. But I still think the North Koreans have the capability to still take a, a standard atomic bomb and hit the United States. That's just dangerous in and of itself. So, Harry, we're talking about sanctions, tough and tougher on China, trying to use all the diplomatic and economic leverage that we can. But you're saying there may be at the start of the process of getting, the, could have, in their mind, the ultimate weapon. Wouldn't, if we were to take preemptive military action uh, in any size or scope, would now not be a better time than waiting until they are further down the process or potentially have it? Here's the problem with military options. Let's face it, North Korea is the land of lousy options. The challenge yeah. is this. If we launched a, a tremendous military strike on North Korea, first of all, it would take us a couple weeks to get that together. The North Koreans would see that coming, probably strike first. But even if we're able to do that, let's suppose the North Koreans have, I don't know, 30 nuclear weapons, and we get 28 of them. That still would leave two nuclear weapons left. I guarantee you Kim Jong-un is going to fire one of those at Seoul, Tokyo, or Los Angeles. That's why a military option at this point, unless the North Koreans attack us first, is not a good one. You got If you do it, you got to do it all in, and doing yep. it, doing so, is a pretty difficult proposition. Harry, thanks a lot for joining us this morning.